Hey guys, this is Renee Everett from RJ and Sun Computers, and in this tutorial, I would like to show you on how to install the VLC player. So here, we will on first we will actually go to the Chrome or Chrome browser, which that's what we're using. Which you're allowed, you could use Firefox or Internet Explorer, whichever other one you feel comfortable as well. So we'll here at the top, we'll go ahead and type in VLC player. and go to the videoland.org so next we will go right here where it says download VLC player and go ahead and click on it and we just wait for a little bit and here it says right here downloading VLC 2.2.4 for Windows you might have a different version different versions depending on on when the new releases are because sometimes they release them every so often so and here right here is thanks for thanks your download will start in a few seconds and see at the bottom right here if you're using Chrome it will be down here if you're using Firefox it will be on the top up over here somewhere so we're gonna go ahead and click on keep and go ahead and run the file by clicking on it next we will go ahead and click OK to continue now since this box up came up the welcome to VLC media, media player set up and wizard we'll go ahead and click on next the license agreements make sure be sure to read them if you don't if you don't want to read it it's fine it's up to everybody everybody usually people don't like to read it I don't know why just go ahead and click next here I would just recommend doing the same thing unless you're an expert user and you can change if you like but if not go ahead and click on next here in the destination the choose install location I will leave it as default but not recommend it's it's neck out you don't have to leave it as default you could always change it to whatever you prefer but in this example we will leave it as default so we'll go ahead and click on install okay now it has completed the VLC VLC media player setup wizard this little box right here, this is checkbox. If you leave it checked, when you click finish, it will run, open the software, and it'll it'll continue whatever it needs to do, like any set any necessary setups that the program will ask. If you uncheck it, it it'll won't open up the program. So for this example, we will run, go ahead and leave it default, and go in and click on finish. It's a little privacy and network access policy shows up if you go ahead and, and open it up and at the bottom where it says network access policy there will be two check boxes the first check box was it shows allow metadata network access you could leave that checked or you don't have to really it's all up to you depending on whatever you want I usually just leave everything at default just just for because and I regularly check f for VLC updates I would leave that default unless you don't want it to be checking every time you open it so that'll be regarding on what y'all decide but in this example we'll go ahead and leave it default and we'll go ahead and click on continue and that's pretty much it man guys that's installation so if you would like to learn more on more of the features that it contains or the settings or stuff like that please leave a comment down below and I will make another video on y'all's request so this is Renee Everett so I will see y'all on my next video so see you guys